Hello everybody, today we're going to convert these boring white outdoor pathway lights into beautiful RGB LED lights that can be controlled by WLED. So stick around and see how we do it. Initially, when we started looking for year-round outdoor lighting, we really liked the look of the Philips Hue Cala lights. That is, until we saw the price of each light and the lack of software control. So, we started looking around for alternatives and found a similar looking light on Amazon that we could modify and add our own RGB LEDs that could be controlled by WLED. As a bonus, the quality was even better. So once we got the lights, it was time to take them apart. So I enlisted my wife's help to get these opened up so we can install our own RGB LEDs. I will link another video in the description that gave us some great insight into how to open these up as well. For us though, the process we found that worked the best is to use a heat gun to get the silicone inside softened up. We then use a combination of spraying alcohol into the openings and then gently prying to work the bottom cap off. They get easier after you do a few. Okay, so now that we have the white LEDs out, we can put in our own LEDs. There's different types of LEDs you can put in. You can put in ones like this. That's a little bit of a high wattage one. This is like a three watt LED. Um, but I'm gonna actually use something that I 3D printed to use some pixels that we have for some of our Christmas lights. These are bullet WS2811 pixels. Um, so I just printed a little piece here that will go inside of the light. This will drop down into the light and then I'll be able to screw it down in the same spot that it was before. So let's go ahead and connect this up then to our LEDs that we have here. Now I start making the usual connections of the positive, negative, and the data using heat shrink crimp connectors. Since the original light only had a single gland for power, I drilled an extra hole on the bottom so that I could run both the input side in and then the output back out. I'm using glands on the bottom so that the wires will be sealed from any water. I then insert the lights and line up the 3D printed part to the original holes and start screwing the plate back down. I also adjusted the height of the LEDs to be just above the glass so that the light gets diffused as evenly as possible. Alright, so we have this all screwed in now. So all we need to do then is close this up on the bottom. We'll put a little bit of silicone around here and it'll be all good to go. Please check out our other videos where we show how we make a DIY solar power box that runs these lights nightly. And we also have another video showing where we make a 3D printed outdoor pathway light from scratch. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.